Hi, my name's Dan and I'm the residential coordinator here at Moulton. Part of my role is to oversee a team of wardens. Uh, the wardens work outside of a normal working day, ensuring that the students always have someone to come talk to. Uh, you can go to them with issues ranging from homesickness through to antisocial behaviour in your book. Uh, we also provide uh, students with enrichment activities um, and also show social events to make sure that you have a good time. Um, we are supported by our facilities team, so which includes 24-hour uh, security, uh, maintenance team and also cleaners. Um, we also work very closely with our academic team to ensure that your academic needs and also welfare needs are all catered for. I'm going to take you now on a tour of our social areas and also our bedrooms um, and enjoy. Thank you. This is a canteen where under 18 residents and over 18 residents on a meal package can come for their breakfast and evening meals. Please let us know if you do have any uh, dietary requirements. Um, if you let us know before coming, then our catering team will be happy to accommodate with these. This is the main social area for the resident students called The Loft. This is where we hold the majority of our social events for students. It has a fully licensed bar, but does also cater for under 18 students with a selection of soft drinks and snacks available. So we have a pool table, table tennis and table football. Sorry about the lack of furniture, we're currently going through a deep clean. So also in here we have a games room which includes an Xbox, Nintendo Wii and a Nintendo Switch. And at the other end we have a TV room. So if you want to come and watch a movie with your mates and don't want to sit in your room on a small screen, then you can come up here and you can fit lots of people in there. We have over 300 rooms here at Moulton. These are split into uh, different categories depending on age and course level, either further education or higher education. We're now in one of our under 18 single rooms. All of our rooms are en suite, which is great, so you don't have to share the facilities uh, with the rest of your block. Um, you will be required to provide your own bedding and toiletries. Um, included in the price of the room is Wi-Fi access for up to three devices. Also, cleaners come round once a week to clean your room, providing it's clean enough for them to clean. Obviously, if it's too dirty for them, then we will be requiring you to tidy it up. So you have a cupboard here. So you are able to have TVs in your room. Um, but please don't bring them that are too big. Uh, we say probably about 32 inches is the is the biggest that you can have in here and still be able to have all the rest of your stuff. Um, you're also able to have a mini fridge. So a mini fridge can fit on these desks or underneath. You can just move those drawers out of the way. So if you do have a TV here, you will be uh, required to purchase a TV license for it. We're now in a twin room, which has very much the same amenities as a single room, just with a couple of changes. So now there are two beds, also two locked cupboards. Uh, so you're able to keep your belongings safe. Now we aim to allocate our twin rooms to students that may share a common interest. So they might be on the same course or on a very similar course. Um, obviously, yeah, if you do get a few weeks down the line and you're really not getting along, come and let us know because there might be the opportunity to change. Um, our under 18 accommodation is all single sex. Just turn the light on. We do have a curfew for our students to be back on site by 10.30 and back in the rooms by 11 o'clock. Now our wardens will do room checks, 
So if you're not back in your block by 11 o'clock, they will follow the missing student procedure. Students are allowed uh, external guests, um, but they're only allowed to stay until half past 10 and they must be signed in with the warden. Here's a common room for the under 18 residents. As the under 18 residents are all catered for, we only provide basic cooking equipment such as microwave, kettle and toaster. But it's nice to have the option of coming back during your lunch break to be able to make yourself some lunch. We do have an on-site laundry facilities for both our main site and a whole cot accommodation. They are coin operated machines. Um, they do have instructions on them, but if you need any assistance, then please ask. We're now in an over 18 FE room. As you can see, it's almost identical to the under 18 single rooms. Uh, however, we're only able to uh, um, offer singles for our over 18 FE students. The blocks consists of a maximum of six students. So the same rule applies regarding guests. All guests must sign it out by 10.30. We do not allow overnight guests here at Mold on the Moulton main site. If you do have friends in the under 18 accommodation, you are welcome to go and visit them until 11 o'clock at night. However, they're not allowed to come and visit you um, because in your blocks, you're allowed to have things like alcohol. Our over 18 accommodation comes with a fully fitted kitchen. Students are required to supply their own cooking utensils and crockery. Students are also welcome to add the meal package, which includes breakfast and evening meals served in the canteen. Um, but you are able to purchase a meal from the canteen if you say run out of food or something like that. Um, if you are self-catered, then there is a small co-op in the centre of Moulton, which is roughly about five minutes walk away from the front of the college. Um, but there are also uh, the big supermarkets that are uh, within a short drive away from the college. So as an over 18 student, you don't have a curfew, but we do ask for noise to be kept at a minimum after 11 o'clock. And our wardens will also do checks to make sure that no one's been too noisy. We're now in our higher education single room, which is located on our Holcott site. All of our rooms are fitted with an ensuite shower. Um, we have student wardens who work during the evenings and weekends and are on hand to deal with any emergencies and issues that you might have. I'll show you in here. So there's your cupboard space. So your desk, pin board. There. There's a toilet and your shower. We have twin rooms available for students wishing to share a room. Uh, these rooms are also equipped to accommodate disabled students. So as you can see, it's uh, quite a lot bigger than the single room. And then the bathroom just here, like I say, equipped to deal with all of our disabled students. Our kitchens at Holcott are equipped very much the same as our main site accommodation. So you will be required to provide your own crockery and cooking utensils, but you're also able to purchase the uh, meal package if cooking is not your speciality. And these meals will be served down at our main site canteen. Uh, as a uni student, you will be able to have overnight guests, um, but you will have to sign them in with the student warden. Thanks for joining me on the tour. We hope to see you soon at Moulton.